ideally um, it covers primarily law enforcement, police. However, we don't forget about corrections portion and uh, paramedic, EMT, we're going to Mercy Ambulance Thursday, tomorrow, and the military, uh, law, law clerks, social work, anything. For me, it's important, not necessarily that you're gonna wanna go out and be a cop, that your juniors and seniors your high school career is over and you have to have some kind of a plan. And to have that plan and be successful, you gotta have certain skills. How to talk to people, how to address an inquisitive nature about what's going on around you. Students will come out of our program at the end of two years, even at the end of the first year here. They're gonna get their New York State Security Guard licensing. So mm -hmm. they'll have that certification that goes on their record so if they ever want to get a job doing security somewheres, it gives them that aspect. All of our students are learned, trained in Stop the Bleed, which is a program that I've taught in law enforcement for years when I was working as an officer. That program, they'll learn how to put on tourniquets, put them on quickly, pack wounds, and put pressure on wounds in emergency situations. They also come out with other skills and certifications like de-escalation, that's a big thing nowadays how to talk to people, how to talk to somebody who's in crisis, how to get them to calm down. Okay, a lot of things in security, police work, criminal justice system is calming people down. Once you get them calmed down, then you're able to get somewhere and get them the help they might need. Okay, so they do end up with a lot of certifications out of this as well, where they're able to go get a job after high school and go directly in the workforce. Uh, today was the day we opened up the uniform program and again, um, I think most of them are cool with it. We've had kids that they don't even want to take it off. You know, they come in here, I want to put my shirt on. <laughs> oh, what about oh, that, man? Those are what we refer to as drunk goggles. That gives them an idea if they are a 0.15 BAC, which is blood alcohol concentration, or up to a 0.25 BAC. As we all know, 0.08 is the state legal limit. So it's at least a double definite good game that we got to actually show these kids. We're actually gonna use them. They're gonna learn field sobriety testing, how to do them with everyone and do them on the subject correctly. And then those people that are the subjects that they're working on, another student, would wear the goggles while they're doing the actual field sobriety testing. All right, to give that link of impairment that you would see if somebody was actually drinking an alcoholic. It was pretty fun and it's like it opens your eyes to like the different like type of drugs out there and like alcohol and stuff like that and how you feel after you like you've done taking them. And it helps shows importantly why like, like drunk driving is not good just because like it just impaired your vision way too bad so it's like you cut it even like really function how you should be functioning. Yeah. I cut it even like figure out I probably couldn't figure out what it was like. I this. probably couldn't turn on the car. I swear. Not even the key <laughs> mission. That was hard. Uh, it's just good to know like every side of every story you know and who knows one day it might come in handy you know. Yeah. It's just something to do and then I I just really picked just because like, I don't know, just something to do, like I said, have fun with it, and I really enjoy you doing it now, so I enjoyed it. Don't, the only way to find out if you like it is just to take it. Yeah, and if you want to just learn just the laws and the things, and just so you know how to do things correctly and what not to do, just do it.